credible new evidence just tied Trump directly to Russian collusion. Former Trump campaign adviser George Papadopoulos began his paltry two-week jail term on Monday after a plea deal with Robert Mueller resulted in a severely reduced sentence in exchange for cooperating with the special counsel's investigation into Russian collusion with the president's campaign. However, a new article in The Atlantic Today leads to the conclusion that Mueller may not be finished with Papadopoulos quite yet. The story reveals the existence of a letter sent to Congressman Adam Schiff, DCA, the incoming chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, on November 19 by a yet-to-be-named person who claims to have had close ties with the former Trump campaign aide during the period immediately following the 2016 election. The letter, if it proves to be true, could be the smoking gun that would prove collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia and directly implicates the president in the activity. The associate of Papadopoulos who requested anonymity details conversations they had together at the end of 2016 wherein the Trump aide spoke about doing a business deal with Russians which would result in large financial gains for himself and Mr. Trump. The informer also claims to have been present while Papadopoulos spoke directly to Trump on a phone call. At Scott Amstedman Breaking from me slash at Natasha Bertrand an explosive letter has been sent to Schiff's office claiming that Papadopoulos coordinated with Russians with Trump's knowledge in the weeks following the election. Authorities are taking the letter very seriously. At Scott Amstedman. Here it is, folks. We had to redact portions of the letter as to not give away any details about the Papadopoulos confidant. It's real, and federal authorities are investigating thoroughly. The letter was shared with federal investigators who are reportedly taking its contents very seriously, according to the officials who also maintained anonymity due to the ongoing investigation. According to The Atlantic